Hello, welcome to Ekideo. We are a twin future civil and structural engineer. My name is Justice Umoka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you how to model a waffle slab in Porta Structure. So, by the end of this um, video, you will be able to know the principles of how to model or create a waffle slab in your building design in Porta Structure. Okay, so looking at this right now, this is a seven-story building design as you can see it on this place here. This is a seven-story hotel building design. And the reason why we chose to use a waffle slab, as you know that there are principles when that, that you have to apply when you're designing for a medium-rise building or for high-rise building. So whenever you are designing for high-rise building, you are meant to look for a way to now reduce the load of the structure. And by you doing that, for you to be able to reduce the load of the structure, you don't have to go and reduce the, the dead load or the input of, of the structure, but rather you have to go and choose um, how to um, use a way to reduce the load or the weight of the structure. And by doing that, the best way is to either use a partition walls, like not to use block walls, but rather a partition walls like fiber woods and, and all that to not partition between your buildings. Or you have to now use a different type of slab. As you know that we have different types of slab, which is solid slab, waffle slab, rib slab, and um, flat slab. But basically, the best one that is used to reduce the weight of of the structure is to use a rib slab and also waffle slab is a type of rib slab so right now this one just now is a waffle slab so i am trying to reduce the weight of this six story hotel building and then just now i have now used a waffle slab for that so right now let me now show you how to insert a waffle slab just now Okay, so right now, I'll just go to my um, plan view back. As you can see, first of all, this is the structure. This is a seven story basically, but I'll call it a six story because I will not count this on ground floor. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so right now, this is the structure having also a shear wall, as you can see it here, which is for the lift and also having a staircase hall just beside the lift here, as you can see that. Okay, so right now, um, this Let's now begin to now model for this waffle slab. So basically, whenever you are designing for um, a high-rise building, or let me say a medium-rise building, you should be you should consider using a waffle slab for that. Okay. So right now, I'll just go to my plan view now. So on my plan view now, I have already modeled for this um, for this last floor, which is the roof area, as you can see it now. So I'll just quickly go now to the sixth floor. To now show you how to model this because on this sixth floor i basically used a i basically used a solid slab but right now i want to convert it now to a waffle slab so what i'll do first is to click on this place here sorry so go to my sl slab on my um story sorry go to my slab on my story six let me just go to my slab on story six make story six active and then on that place now I will now go to my plan view of story six and then I will now come here under my slab here and I'll first of all remove all the um all the solid slab which I have here because I want to now use a, a waffle slab for that. Now as you're watching, why wait for it to select? If you have not um subscribed to my channel Ekidel, I will say you should please um click on the subscribe button and also on the like button. So right now, I'll just also come here right now and then delete this selected slab. And right now, we will be left with only our beams and just our column. And then we will now go ahead now to now insert our waffle slab. And to do that, I will say you should click on your concrete member and then click on your click on your rib slab. Now on the rib slab now, you have to come here on this type here and choose what grillage, as you can see it here. 
you have different type of slab. At first of all, at default, it will, it will be on standard. So you have to come here now and then pick grillage here. And you have to set these values here. At, at default, this place here will be at 100. And this place here will be at um, 300. Sorry, 320. And this place here will be 70. And this place here will be 400. So this is how at default, once you open your own whip slab or waffle slab, this is how you are going to see your inputs at default. So right now, you are expected to now put in your own value. And I will say you should put this value here, which is basically, you put here to be 150, and then you put the height of this place to be 300. And then this place now, which is the height of the slab at 50, because we are trying to now reduce the, the weight of the slab. So basically right now, this is the depth of our slab. Why this here is the size of the block, which is 350. And then this is the height of the block also. And then this is the this is for the beam. And then this is for the width of the beam, okay? So right now, we will now go here right now. Once you have put all our values, then go to your panel and then begin to insert that slab. And I'll click on this now and then insert this. As you can see right now, this is now a waffle slab, as you can see that. So this, this place now becomes where they will use what? They are going to use a clay pot here or they are going to use a block here. But basically, what is mo most common is to use a clay board, um, sorry, is to use a clay pot material or to use a polystyrene material, which is the advanced method of, 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 of um, doing waffle slab construction. So basically, for you to use this slab, you have to have experience on how to construct it and also how to detail the slab because it, because it is different from how we detail our normal slab. So, and also we, we have a course on this slab detailing. So if maybe you want that course, just um, check on the, the link down below and then send us a WhatsApp message, okay? So right now, I'll just quickly right now and then insert all that value. All, all these panels right now with a waffle slab, as you can see that I'm doing right now. So I'll just click on the panels now and then wait for the software to now respond. So while the, rest, while the software is trying to insert the slab or the panel which I just clicked, I'll say that if you have not um, still click on the subscribe button and on, on the like button, I'll say you should please click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel because you clicking on the like button will help, the, will help, will help on YouTube to be able to send this video across to other people that want to know this, okay? So right now, I'll just quickly click on the panels right now to insert my slab, okay? As you can see right now, it, it, it's a very simple one, but just to get the whole um, tricks on that, okay? So I'll put that. So basically, when you're designing for a high-rise building, you have to use either rib slab or waffle slab to be able to reduce the weight of your structure. Although we have done many courses on tall buildings and also high-rise building on that, on the design. So if maybe you want to know basically how, how to design high-rise building like 10 story, 15 story, 30 story and all that, we have a course on that which we are about to launch on our website, ekidev.com. Although we have not yet launched the website, but once the but once that website comes up, which is late and um, late this this uh, month of May, then you will begin to see those courses and, and, and that on the website and then you can just um, get those courses for yourself and then equip yourself and also um, upgrade your career, okay? That's fine. So right now, I'm trying to now insert the, um, this place. So you can now see how to insert waffle slab as you can see that just now. Insert this and also um, insert this here and insert this here. So right now, this place now, inserting this now, you can see that the block size here have changed. That's because of the panel here looks smaller. So I'll have to change the panel, the panel, the, the block size here. So I'll come here right now and put here 280 and I'll come here, okay, 280. And then I'll click on this place now to check if that's gonna work. Let me check that now. Okay, yes, this is fine. So I'll change this one right, right now again. So I'll come here right now and then click on escape first and then come here. So make sure that your uh, that your block sizes are this are, are like are the same inside the panel. So right now I will come here, click on this now. If I click and then go over here right now and then say properties and then wait for it to open just now. And I'll come here just now and then click on this and change this to what to eighty. And I'll click on what updates and then it will just change right now to what it is perfectly fit. Okay, that's fine. And I'll come here right now and then click on what escape. 
So right now you have seen how we have inserted our what? Our um, Waffle Slab, as you can see it here. Very simple, but it is very, very useful. Basically, when you're designing for high-rise building, from building up to five story and above, you're meant to use different type of slab and not just a normal slab, which is which is the solid slab. So right now you can see that we have this slab now also on our story six and also on story seven because story seven and all that. But basically, if I'm to, if, if I'm to perform the full design of this story building, I'll start this waffle slab basically from the from story three up to story seven. So this is how not to insert your waffle slab. So if not check on our 3D view just now, 3D view um, here, let me just do the that. 3D view here by tapping this. Okay, yeah, then close it now. You will now see that we have just inserted our waffle slab as you can see it just here. Let me just rotate this a bit. I've been working on this system for the past since today, so that's why it's taking okay. So you can, you, you can, you can now see our waffle slab here that will have the waffle slab on this place here and also on this um six story here around this six story here. Let me just see that. Okay, around this six story. Let me just uh, open this place visually bigger. Okay, so you can see that we have it on the seventh floor here and also on the sixth floor here, as you can see that. So this is how to insert your waffle slab basically on a high-rise building, as you can see that. So, but basically, if I'm to perform the full design of this structure, I am to insert this, this waffle slab starting from the story three because I want to reduce the weights of, of the structure. Because okay, okay, so right now I cannot see how to do that right now. So basically, this is how to do this. And if you have any questions so far, let me know the comment down below, and then I will also reply your questions so far. And then I will say that before you go, please click on the like button and then share this video to also recommend it to your friends and to your colleagues if you're working, and to your friend if you're a student. Okay, so thank you so much and God bless you and goodbye.